Hello everybody and welcome to The Grade, where we take a look at what's popular online this week. I'm your host, Christian Sokolay. NASA made an incredible announcement on Monday regarding the future of Mars exploration. Turns out there's liquid water on Mars. Now you might be yelling, we knew there was water on Mars already. And you'd be correct, but we only knew about frozen water up until now. Apparently, perchlorate, some weird chemical, allows water to stay liquefied, which means that if scientists find life on Mars, it will most likely be near the flow of water. This also enables researchers to eliminate dry areas from trying to find actual life on Mars as humanity gets ever closer to life beyond Earth. Whether that life is humans or aliens, though, we still have to figure out. But also, the movie Martian is coming out tomorrow. Coincidence? I don't think so. Are you a fan of Obamacare? Well, whether you are or not, you can put facts behind your opinions on 538's article dedicated to Obamacare statistics. It is interesting to challenge your stereotypes. For example, did you know that the largest group of uninsured people is hard to identify? It's not undocumented immigrants, it's not poor folks, it's a mix of people, most of whom have jobs. Even most of the uninsured, undocumented immigrants are employed. And 7.7 .7 million young folk, ages 19 through 34, are uninsured because they can't afford it, or not being offered insurance through their employment. Uh, but I'm a legal immigrant, so I can't work or vote, and thus I don't really matter. So check out the statistics and let's move on. In this week's video showcase, we have the Supermoon Lunar Eclipse. If you missed it this past Sunday, the Supermoon Lunar Eclipse man is here to help. Sorry, that's just so much fun to say, Supermoon Lunar Eclipse. Whoever named this thing deserves a medal. Uh, here's NASA's video explaining what a Supermoon Lunar Eclipse is. Roll the clip! To understand what this is, first, take a full moon. Now add the closest approach the moon makes to the Earth on its elliptical orbit, which results in it looking up to 14% larger in diameter. That's a supermoon. Now combine this with a lunar eclipse, when the moon passes directly behind the Earth into its shadow, giving it a red tint. Now you have a supermoon lunar eclipse. This is a really special event, because it doesn't happen very often. And that was the show for this week, guys. As always, you've just been uploaded with information from the grid, I'm Christian Sokolay, check out more videos on the Local Life channel on YouTube, and I'll see you next week.